What's going on you guys, it's Outdoor Maniac here again with another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to install charging coils on any 19060C Hana Clone gasoline engine. Let's get started. So right now I'm going to be using an 8mm deep socket to remove the bolts that hold on the flywheel cover. So right here we have our four bolts that hold the flywheel cover on, and now we can take the flywheel cover off. With the flywheel cover off, you now have access to your flywheel, your fan, your starter coupling, as well as your ignition coil here on the left. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the same 8mm deep socket and remove the two bolts that hold on the ignition coil. So here's the first bolt and the second bolt. So here's the two bolts that hold on the ignition coil. Set those aside, make sure to not lose any of the bolts that you removed. So now with the two bolts removed, the ignition coil is free to move about wherever you wanna put it. I'm just gonna move it aside so I have more clearance um, here at the flywheel. So now I'm gonna take a 19 millimeter deep socket and remove the bolt that holds on the flywheel, starter coupling, and fan. So with the bolt now removed, we can take off the starter coupling and the fan. Set those on the side with the bolt, with the bolt, just to make sure you don't lose them and, the, and that all the parts stay together. Okay, so now I have a couple wooden shims to remove the flywheel. I'm gonna slide one of them over here. You wanna make sure it's a strong part of the block so that it doesn't um, break anything. So right here is not a strong part of the block. I would choose a corner. It's stronger at the corners and not here. So make sure to choose a corner. So now I'm going to hammer in the shim might need to readjust it like so and then you want to gently tap around the flywheel like this as well as actually tap the shaft a couple times not too hard though and then you want to check if the flywheel is loose and in this case the flywheel did come loose so we can remove our shim set that aside and now we can remove our flywheel. Okay, so with the flywheel removed, we can now install our charging coil. So right here I have a charging coil, and here I have two 10 millimeter bolts to secure the, the coil to the block of the engine. So when it comes to installing the charging coil, it doesn't matter if you install it on the top or bottom. Uh, in this case, I'm just gonna install it on the bottom. And you might have to feed the wire in before um, putting it on the block, but in this case, it's all right. So I'm just gonna feed the wire through like so. There's little notches and you wanna set those little notches right here in the holes. So now I have those notches. So if I try to move it side to side, it won't move. And then I take my two 10 millimeter bolts. I hand start them. And then I'm gonna take my ratchet with a deep 10 millimeter socket. And snug them up like so. With that coil now installed, you can go ahead and proceed to install the um, other coil, or you can just install this coil. Um, the general rule of installing charging coils is you get one and a half amps per coil, so um, this would be one and a half amps. And then if you added a second coil, it would be three amps in total, so three amps total output. Okay, so now I'm going to put the flywheel back on the engine. So I'm gonna take my flywheel. I'm going to um, align the key, the key, the key spot with the key in the actual shaft, which is right here out of view. So I'm gonna drop it on there, making sure to line up the key and then just set it on there. Make sure it's snug. If you want, you can give it a couple light taps to make sure it seats with where it's supposed to go. You can take your fan Align it so that this little swoosh, you could call it, lines up with this. And then you're gonna take your starter coupling and you're gonna make sure that this goes in that hole right there. So I'm gonna turn it around and then wiggle it around until it seats. Then I'm gonna take my nut and then I'm going to hand tighten it until it threads on. And then I'm gonna take my socket and tighten the bolt. So with this um, nut, I'm going to tighten up, tighten it up with an impact 
just so I um, know that it's tight. Okay, so with that on, what you're gonna wanna do now is spin the flywheel a couple times, you know, back and forth, both directions, and make sure that the um, charging coil does not rub the magnets on the inside of the flywheel. And in this case, we don't have that problem. So we can go ahead, we can go ahead and reinstall the ignition coil. Okay, so I'm going to install the ignition coil. I have my feeler gauge here. I'm going to adjust the gap to 17 thousandths of an inch or 0.43 millimeters. Okay, so the magnet is right here out of frame. I'm going to turn the flywheel so that the magnet is uh, at this bolt hole. And then I'm going to take my feeler gauge and just tap it on the magnet. And then it'll do its thing. And then I'm going to take my fastener and place it in there. And then I'm going to tighten it up. Bottom's done, so you can go ahead and, and remove the feeler gauge. Then you're going to move to the top and do the same thing. Take my other fastener. I'm going to tighten it down. And now I'm going to take my feeler gauge and recheck the gap on the bottom and the top. Good. And now we're going to pop the flywheel cover back on. And then you're all done. Okay, so I'm going to take my flywheel cover and reinstall it, making sure not to get any of the springs that control the governor, if you still have it installed. I'm going to take um, one of my 8mm bolts and snug it up. And it goes here. And then there's one at the top. And then the last one goes up here at the top. Okay, last bolt. Okay, and now you have your wire right here to uh, hook it up to your battery or to run a light, anything like that. Anything that uses power. That concludes this video. It, that concludes this video. If you have any comment, that concludes this video. If you have any questions, feel free to drop it down in the comment section and I will answer them as soon as I can. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.